Hey there, it's Jimmy again, and today we have, well, we have what's left of a 73 Volkswagen Super Beetle. So this is kind of cool though. Um, you do see bugs in junkyards off and on. They do get tend to get picked over pretty quickly. Um, actually, they tend to come in not very complete to begin with. So kind of thinking that's how this one came, sort of in bits and pieces. But uh, let's take a look. What I kind of like about this one is that the uh, it's a green color. It's been repainted, but the green is the original color on this one. So. Let's check out what made the Super Beetle different. Oh, well, actually, first let's look back here. So this is obviously where the hood would be and where the engine would have been. A 73 Super Beetle would have had the 1600 uh, cc engine producing 60 horsepower with a four speed manual transmission. So we see the input shaft there. Uh, you can kind of get a good look at the rear suspension. It's a view we don't always see, although it's easy enough to get a bug engine out of the car. Um, still got the chrome bumper in pretty good shape actually. This headlight or taillight's obviously been damaged um, along with the, the fender. The fenders are easily replaceable as are other lights. These are kind of called the elephant feet lights because they're much bigger than the uh, older kind of non-Super Beetle had kind of uh, a much narrower taillight design. I, I don't know, I'm one of the few people that seem to really like the Super Beetle. I love, I love these rear taillights compared to the um, older ones. Um, and it really kind of, well, I don't know if it modernizes the design for me, but it does make it look more newer or more modern i guess which uh, which i guess it does this one's got some pretty terminal rust though rusting this is looking pretty crispy but i guess that's kind of how it goes with a car from what 1973 sometimes so um here are the wheels just little four bolt wheels the running board's also pretty rusty this kind of had a rubber thing on it well we, you guys all know what a bug was but um let's uh let's get back to the front here so the, you know, one of the bigger differences is that the uh, Super Beetle had a McPherson strut front suspension. You can see it there. Uh, the hood was also different. It was a little bigger, more bulbous. Vintag ends up being there, which is kind of cool and made in Germany. Um, fuel tank would have been in there, but it's gone now. That's obviously the fuel filler nozzle, so it would have been up here. There's a steering linkage, fan. This is kind of the trunk space. So not a ton of trunk space, but it was enough. Um, pretty cool. So let's, uh, here's the fuel filler. Still pops open. It's also, looks like it's bent or coming apart at the seam. I don't know, so there's Jeff on there. I don't know if Jeff was the co-driver or, or what, but uh, let's take a look inside. Look at this. Bug door is always sealed extremely tight. Um, they do float and uh, pretty pretty solid. It's got the vent windows. These are great. Open that thing up, you get tons of air rushing in, which is always nice. See, so you can see what the original color was. Obviously this dark green color, very period correct. And then the outside was repainted, but looks like they repainted the door jams also. And got a fair amount of overspray on everything, but uh, that's all right. So interior dashboard change for the Super Beetle had a much more kind of this one piece injection molded thing which again I don't mind although this one looks pretty horrible with the way it's cracked you have a big central speedometer which is gone on this one and kind of a soft padded steering wheel um, there is the shift uh, pattern there one two three four in reverse bottom back had a glove box here a couple shelves it's a four seater Gives you the cool tire inflation pressures and so forth there. Radio would have been there. Ashtray. Oh, it's got some stuff in here. Oh, what is this? Let's check this out. Looks like some old receipts. From, let's see, how old, how old are these receipts? It's kind of cool. Oh, I just said Ronald somebody. So it must have been, here's a different one. Let's see, oh, here we go. This one is from, Kind of cool. This is from Joe JB's Convenience on Magnolia Street in Fort Collins from Friday, November 13th. Friday the 13th, 1992, 10 a.m. What do you buy? Gas. Oh, here we go. Regular gas price in 1992 was $1.27. So he filled up with 6.2 gallons for $7.95. So, and then he, that was at the Conoco gas station at JB's Convenience. Actually, I know where that is. Um, that's kind of cool. A little slice of the past there. Then you had on, that's a little air um, vent. Turn the fan on there. Key is still in this one. 
the turn it doesn't obviously doesn't turn it on but it does turn gear shifter here's your heating controls defrost heat and upside down there you had to pull in these to get heat the key thing with a bug is to actually get heat. People don't realize this, but a lot of people thought their heaters didn't work very well. But in a bug, you have to actually crack the window slightly because they're so tight. Once you crack the window, you get all kinds of heat out of this engine. No problem. Assuming that the you know heater box channels aren't all rusted out, which can certainly happen in an older bug. But uh, we got quality German headliner. It's got a few tears, obviously. Got the back seat here. Oh, the front. Let's check out the front again. So this is looks like the factory vinyl. This is extremely hard wearing stuff, kind of like MB Techs, the Mercedes stuff, but I guess we call it VW Techs. Um, not not bad at all. It looks in good shape. They put a cover on this one, but but that's the original underneath. And then this back seat looks non-original with a velour. Um, and you obviously had that rear package uh, package area there behind the seat, which if you were a little kid, you may have ridden back there. You may remember have fond memories of doing that. So let's go to the other side and take a look at the driver's side of this thing. So obviously the same thing pretty much. Got these door handles, bent window, I guess lights, signals, fasten seatbelt sign, and uh, pretty much the same thing from, uh, from this end. So, and three pedals, oh yeah, and it looks like uh, old, all old uh, air-cooled VWs and uh, air-cooled Porsches, they are hinged at the bottom. Makes for a slightly different driving experience until you get used to it, but after that, no big deal, totally second nature. Here's the VIN, uh, built in February 1973 by VW, pretty cool. But yeah, that's a 73 Volkswagen Super Beetle. So if you liked what you saw and heard, please do hit the subscribe and like buttons and uh, we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep doing more of these. And if you have questions or comments, please do leave them in the comments and uh, I try to answer everything uh, that's a question or that I can actually comment on. And if you have any other info, feel free to leave that as well. Thanks a lot.